hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this photograph and they're having trouble. It's really pretty clear. So it's gonna trace really well, but they're having trouble filling in the colors after they make it vector. If you look, this is less than two inches. We're gonna set our notch factor on two. And for the one I'm doing it for, I reduced it in size quite a bit. Then I am gonna make a duplicate of it and move it over. I'm gonna take my, this one right here, and I'm gonna to go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, and I'm gonna convert it to a grayscale. I think it's gonna help it trace it. Then if you look, I am going to go to bitmap and trace bitmap, outline trace clip art, and it's already done it. I'm gonna put the new copy to the left. Now, the bad thing with this, we lost the rectangle. So what we can do now is go ahead and make that perfect rectangle by taking the Smart Fill tool and filling that in and then moving that over and then filling that in again. And then when we get over here, we can left click, right click, and we see we have that exact same border. So now what we, the problem, so he's got it this far, but the problem he's having, we can go ahead and delete all this, is when he takes a sample of a color and puts it in the new one after we make it all, I'm gonna go left click, right click and make it an outline. When he takes a sample of the color, he said he's tried the Smart Fill tool and the color eyedropper. Watch what happens. Well, that one worked. Well, I just did this a while ago, it wouldn't work. Attribute, or not attribute eyedropper, uh, color eyedropper. Take a sample of that and see what it did. The reason for that, just almost like the contour tool, there's too many lines. If we look, you know, this is one container, but if we move this out of the way, well, we've got to ungroup it. If we move this out of the way, there's two lines. So don't move it, nudge it. I'm going to nudge it up. Well, um, you know what? I'm going to nudge everything up. So I'm going to, I'm going to put that back. I'm going to go like a one inch nudge. Hopefully that'll be enough. So to stay in the picture. So I'm going to grab this shape and nudge it up. Now it's all by itself. I can get the color eyedropper tool and take a sample and put it in there. Then I would take this shape and sometimes you you know what, for a second, we're going to move the rectangle out of the way. I'm going to take this shape and I'm going to move it down and I'm going to grab the, I'm going to use the smart fill tool this time, same thing. And I'm going to take a sample of that. Well, that looks like two different shades there, but and move that up. Oh, that that's okay. It's good. Then we still have, you know, the other ones to do, but we can, we can get rid of these ones we had done and we could actually probably move these over so we could just go up with everything and see. So there were double lines. So I think the attribute eyedropper is quicker. I'm going to grab this, put it there, and then I can move it immediately over. Now, the line is still there, so I'm gonna right click no outline. I'm gonna move move this one up and it is that color. Grab the attribute eye, or color eyedropper tool and grab that color and that shade and put it right there. Now a little bit, uh, see and I did that and I left the outline, so I'm gonna right click no outline. Then we're gonna grab this last shape or one of the last shapes and it's this color, so we're gonna grab the color eyedropper tool and take that sample, put it there. And when I'm through, you're gonna definitely see the difference of the quality of the graphic. Now on this one, I don't know if there's actually, yeah, there's actually two lines there. So we'll go ahead and finish this. This one is this, this color, take a sample, put it there, I'm gonna, don't let me forget, I'm going to show one other thing. We're going to do this color now. And let's go ahead and move it up because that last one is going to be a little bit harder. Eyedropper tool. Now, watch when I get over here. 
there's a square box. That means I want to make the outline that color or a solid box, which means I'm going to make the uh, outline color. So this color, this is going to be a little bit tricky. It is a closed vessel. And we can use the color eyedropper tool and get that color. That's going to be a little bit hard, maybe put it in there. See, because it's one, really wants to, this will be a good challenge. It really wants to put it. You know what? I'm going to try the Smart Fill tool. The Smart Fill tool has a better um, set of crosshairs. And see the crosshairs? So maybe I can get it. There we go. And now I'm going to nudge it over and up. And the only other thing is to nudge the sun back. Now we got to have that. There should just be one color. So we got, we'll go and use a smart fill tool on that. And hopefully it does not leak. There we go. Now there's not much difference in these two models because they're, the other one was so good. I'm going to group them together and let's just put them side by side. And look at the, how that is uh, not very sharp, where that's, this is a vector, it's line art, and this is like rastered art. So, you know, there's actually two mountains there of different shades, so when it traced it, it missed that. But that could be easily fixed. Anyway, that's a pretty cool scene. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.